I am going to say something extremely controversial, alright? This game isn't a disaster. Crazy, I know, right? Let's do a quick rundown of this franchise, shall we? The first Hello Neighbor was a goddamn atrocity. I've rambled so many times about this game at this point. It's bad. It's really, really bad. It started out as a simple little game where the neighbor had this big-ass weirdo house and your goal was to unlock the basement by doing a simple puzzle while avoiding the neighbor. Uh, kind of like an escape room. And as a small little alpha experiment, I think it worked. I mean, it was still super flawed and janky, but what they had cooking up, it had potential. Fast forward to the actual game release. What the hell am I supposed to do? This game is such a glitchy, non-functional and busted up mess with no cohesion. I wasn't able to beat this game without a guide because man, it is confusing and cryptic for no other reason than we want the game be hard. It doesn't work, it just doesn't. Out of all the games I've talked about on this channel, this is probably my second least favorite behind funny hat guy game. Then you had Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek, which was a quote unquote quote prequel where you play a simple game of have fun looking for a single item in this gigantic map while we give you no hints and this doesn't count okay also if you get caught you lose some of the items you collected are we gonna tell you where those items are being dropped off <laughs> then you have Secret Neighbor, which is just Dead by Daylight for Children, an animated show for some reason, mass tagged MatPad on Twitter, published a series of books, released a Google Stadia exclusive, you heard me right, but where you make stupid little cards, wait, wait what, this is just Benja kazooie not, why did you make this? There was a game called Hello Gas, they had two alphas for Hello Neighbor 2 that are completely different games, they announced a VR game called Hello Neighbor Search and why are there so many goddamn Hello Neighbor games? I don't get it. Instead of focusing on one project and really fine-tuning it, they just flip-flop from half-baked game to half-baked game, never giving it the chance to fully flourish. The idea behind this franchise isn't even bad, but the execution of all of these games are so piss-poor that I can't understand why anyone would like this. And yes, I know there are multiple studios that work on these games, but if they would just take Take a step back for a second and look what they did wrong in the past, they would be able to accomplish so much more. It is such a mishandled IP that isn't given the chance to show what it is actually capable of. I bet if you would give this IP to a group of genuinely passionate and talented people, they would be able to make a fun ass quality game, but instead, we get Hello Neighbor 2, which isn't actually Hello Neighbor 2, but uh, Hello Neighbor... Um, 13. I wish I was making that up. So like I said at the start of this video, this game actually isn't completely awful, unlike the original Hello Neighbor. This one is actually competent and somewhat enjoyable, genuinely. The thing you hear a lot of people say when they are talking about Hello Neighbor 1 is that Alpha 2 was the best version of it because it was fairly simple and straightforward. The final release of this game turned into this big confusing puzzle with wonky ass platforming and not Nothing of it made sense. Alpha 2 on the other hand was a lot more streamlined and I'm really, really glad to see that's exactly what they did with the sequel. They streamlined the ever living hell out of it. No more big messy convoluted house. This time you have multiple smaller areas to explore with different neighbors and it's kinda goofy. Of course you have the weirdo as main neighbor from the first game but there's also a cop, a baker, a taxidermist and a mayor and each one of them has their own own little place you have to explore. You usually go into a house, muck around a bunch, figure out a few key details and work your way up from there. It honestly reminds me a lot of the open-ended puzzle areas from the recent Resident Evil games, but unlike those titles, I feel like I'm just running around like a headless chicken here because th there's just a blatant lack of communication to the player. I got stuck so many times unsure what to do next because the game just wanted to be cryptic 
for shits and giggles. If I wanted to be confused and lost, I'll complete a Call of Duty Zombies easter egg. This is just straight up poor game design. They could have fixed this by making the characters say something if they didn't do anything for 10 minutes straight to push them in the right direction or put a spotlight on an important item or my personal favorite fix, give me a map of the house that shows me if I fully completed a room, just like the Resident Evil games. If you're gonna put a grey weight on top of a shelf in a dark corner hidden behind a cobweb, yeah, no wonder I'm going to waddle around like a sore loser. Come on, and this game does this continuously. I feel like they didn't want to give you small hints just to pad out the game's length, because man, I completed the whole thing in less than 4 hours. I bet if they did give hints, it would be less than 2, unironically. So the puzzles can be fun, but they are way too perplexing at times for its own good, which finally brings me to the AI. Yeah, it still sucks. The best way I would describe the AI is annoying. They are just a massive hurdle that always seem to know where you are. It doesn't matter if you try to be quiet or distract them with the alarm clock in another room. They will always walk back to your location like the past they are. And it just doesn't click well with the puzzles that they have set up. You are expected to look around your environment for little clues and secrets. But it's kind of hard to do that when a big chunk of that time is spent inside of a locker waiting for the Dumbo to go away. It feels like it is extremely poorly thought out, but it really doesn't matter because before you know it, it's done. The game ends on such a shitty, random cliffhanger and it's super unsatisfying. I would say more about the general gameplay of this title, but unironically there isn't much more to it. It's just very mediocre in a vacuum. But that's not where our story ends, alright? Because everything that surrounds this game is such a gigantic, pathetic shit show of broken promises, false advertisement, removed features, and overpriced day one downloadable content. This game might not be awful, but everything around it is. I've already said this in this video, but there are multiple alphas for Hello Neighbor 2. Three to be exact, but all Almost none of the mechanics and features were carried over to the full release. These alphas aren't really alphas, these are just completely different games for some reason. What's the point of making all of this, promoting it like it's going to be in Hello Neighbor 2, to then not include any of it? Uh, li like the main protagonist of the alphas, he's this big weirdo bird guy, he's only in the main game for three Goddamn seconds, that's not a joke. He appears in a cutscene at the start for three seconds and no more. They just straight up pulled an Ubisoft Watch Dogs moment where they revealed such a big chunk of gameplay but all of it is either heavily scripted or just straight up fake. And nothing of it is in Hello Neighbor 2, nothing. Not the weather effects, not the neural networking AI that was heavily promoted. Not even the goddamn crowbar animation that was actually in the alphas, what a pathetic joke. Whew. All right, I need to calm down for a second, okay? This is one of those titles that actually pisses me off, not because the game is awful or anything, because I had some sort of fun here and there, but because it is an insult to the people that buy into it, and then they have the audacity to have day one downloadable content that isn't even functional. Jesus Christ, how shameless can you be? As a standalone game, it is fine, but as a piece of online content, as a franchise, it sucks. It is horrible. There is just no soul here. I'm sure some of the developers care somewhat about this title, but they sure don't show that in the final product. And you definitely lose a big chunk of respect for me when you start to manipulate people and kids to wish list your game on Steam to then only not deliver on what you promised. I'm done. This franchise pisses me off. See you guys when Hello Neighbor 3 launches in a busted, unplayable state. Holy shit, please evolve as a franchise. Look at Boogat!